Hey, what's up guys? So, on this one I'm going to draw the altitude of the sun um, for Manhattan, Kansas for uh, October 26th of 2023. Okay, so first I need to know from uh, timeanddate.com so I type in man for my location which is Manhattan, Kansas and, and then I scroll down to the 26th and it tells me at 110 is when the sun is the highest so at 110 it's 38 degrees so that's that's the number I'm looking for all right so I need to convert 110 because we're one hour ahead um, so it's 1210 in UTC time okay so that's the so I need, that's the first thing I need to do. So 1210, which is 1810. That's that's my number that I'm looking for. So I come over here to this NASA website deal. It's pretty cool. Um, and my target is the sun. And the observer is the geocentric, which is the center of the Earth. And I want a comp full, complete day. So I put 1025 to 1027 because um, I went to 26th right here. And then it's in kilometers right here. All right. So then I scroll down here. Well, it's got all this good stuff here. The proper physical properties of the earth and sun flatness surface gravity constant mass pretty cool and all this here so anyways I scroll down to uh, 1810 for the 26th 1810 Which is where right here. <clears throat> so this is my distance from the center of the earth to the center of the sun. So I copy that. I need to convert it from kilometers to feet. Paste. Copy. I'll go into AutoCAD. So here's my drawing. Um, let's just do some dimensions. So it, it is to scale. Dimension. Uh, let's go with annotate dimension. This is 94 million miles from here to here. So 94 million miles and over here is 91 um so this is what i do is i find the spot where the solstice is and then i rotate it to that position but i never i never move it the uh the rotation of the axis um so i first thing i need to do is draw that circle radius paste All right, so where it intersects, when it intersects the uh, the circle, the orbit, but you can tell it's right in here somewhere. All right, so cut this out. I'll find it. So we'll say it's. Oops, right there, because it's above there and below there. That's pretty good. All right, trim that out. So now I'll just show you that uh, that my Earth here is at thirty. 
coordinates is 39.18 north latitude. All right, so this is my north arrow, so that's north and south. And this is my east and west line, and the circle is just the center of Manhattan. And that's north, that's right above, that's z-axis. All right, so let's just measure the, uh, the line, or the angle to here, dimension. So I want to measure from here to the equator. So I get 3918. I'll show you what it looks like in realistic. It's all to scale. So 3918. All right. So I got my point where I want to position the earth. So copy, center, I'll draw a line from the center of that, center of the earth, to the center of the orbit, or the sun. And I'll rotate this. So I need to rotate my position, that circle, to this line along the axis. So I go Z, and I pick the bottom of the axis to the top. Now I can rotate it. And you'll notice that it's rotating along the axis. So reference. And then this is the equator. And I'll rotate that to that line I just drew. So now it's at 180. So that line right there. I built this dome just for visual. Um, so. All right, so now I need to draw another line in the center of my spot to the center of the sun. And then now I'll measure it. I can do it several different ways. Um, Because I'm going to rotate it too, um, so I'll just do it both the same ways. Um, so I'm going to go from here, center, to my position, and to that line. And now I'm going to measure from here to here or no Alright, so, so from here, usually I do it a different way. From here to to there, to the line, dimension, so from here to here. Oops. All 
I usually do it a different way, but. Okay, so it's 127, so I need to take 90 minus that. So 127.89 minus 90 equals 37.89, okay? So if I rounded that, that would be 38, which that's what I get right here, 38. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go five hours ahead. So we'll go like, I don't know, 610 or something. All right. So this is what I need to do. is take uh so i'm going to go five hours ahead so i'm going to take because it for each hour it goes 15 degrees so i'm going to take five times 15 equals whoops five times 15 equals 75 so i need to rotate it for 75 degrees this proves the rotation and the position in, in orbit. I just did. Um, all right, so let me rotate that. Z. To there, so rotate. Again, it's doing the same thing. We, we know it's going this way, so we should go 75. Now it's over there. So, we're here. So, I know it's pr almost at the horizon. You can barely see it. The sun at that point. So, once it gets below that down then it's not visible no more and you can tell um that it's in the southwest all right so at 110 to seven well actually I'm going to, I'm gonna go minus that so so one ten to 610. So, well, I can get it to 1610 here. We'll just say it's pretty much uh, three degrees. So it's west, southwest. It's 251. Okay. All right, so. Let's see if I measure three degrees. So 
So I didn't move that to there. So I needed to remove that since I rotated it. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. It gets a little trickier doing it when it's rotated like that. So I'm gonna go here to here and then back to the line like I just did. Rotate or dimension. I'm gonna take from here to here. All right, so it's I see. So you take ninety minus three point one one. We all know it's three, but I'll calculate it anyways. So ninety three dot one one. Minus 90. So I get 3 degrees. Almost right on. So. Can't remember. Oh. So let's measure that the angle. Um so I'm gonna go here. So it's one eighty to the center to here. Dimension. Should be pretty close. So I need to go 180 plus 70. So I get 250. So what was that? Six, six, ten. So two fifty one. I get two fifty, but I didn't. I didn't uh, get precise on it. This so okay. So I get so one eighty dot five six. I didn't add that. So one eighty. I'm using one eighty and then add that. So one eighty plus seventy point five six equals. If I rounded that, then it would be two fifty one. So they, that all checks out. And there's two scales. It's got a long ways to go. Whew. All right. Well, thanks.